I'm Jean Tompkins and I've been retired a number of years now. My husband was very ill after we'd been retired for five years. He was ill for two, nearly two years and I nursed him. After he died, I thought, well, I'm getting up early, I'm doing the housework and then what do I do with the rest of the day? And I could hear my husband saying, get on with life, life's for the living. My name's Phil Burnett. I was made redundant about a year and a half ago and I was looking for things to do during the day and someone suggested doing stuff for Volunteer Link Up as a driver and I enjoy driving, I enjoy meeting people and I just immediately got a huge buzz and enjoyment out of doing it. There's a time in your life when you're a taker, which was when my husband was ill and then there's a time when you become a giver. Hopefully when I'm older there will be some organisation like this that will help me. It's probably the most worthwhile thing I've ever done. I just think it should spread for the whole of Oxfordshire. I'm Frances Simpson and um, I'm a volunteer driver for the Weekly Care. I started to volunteer because I like driving and like people and it's always very interesting taking people to their various appointments and getting to know them. It's extremely rewarding. You meet delightful people who've had such interesting lives. And I think it's also good for them to recall their life and their experiences because it helps them again see the positives that have been in life. It was just a joy. And I thought to myself, well, I'm actually getting paid to do this. Not much. It's only enough to keep my car going. I've got to keep my car going because I really enjoy it and I actually enjoyed it more than the job I was doing. And of course we get such great help from Volunteer Link Up and great support, which is always so good. It's probably about five weeks the whole thing took. You get government clearance, you get a disabled badge, you get, I mean, it's all very professionally done, very well, very organised. You're almost like a self-employed taxi driver, but doing it with people who appreciate you a lot more. So that's why I do it. That's really what volunteering is about helping people not only physically but psychologically perhaps. I would recommend it to anyone, yeah. I'd recommend volunteering to literally anybody who has from one hour a week to spare to however many hours. But it is a very rewarding thing to do. My name is Keith Bonsford, I'm head teacher of Bayard Hill Primary School, which is situated on Barton Estate in Oxford. We have access to the community minibus, uh, which is based at the Barton Community Centre. My name's Leslie Williams and I coordinate activities that involve children from the different schools. We use the, the Barton minibus for all sorts of different trips. It's likely that the schools will want it during the day and people like the football club will need it at weekends or evenings. But a group of children travelled every Tuesday evening after school down into Oxford and that wouldn't have been possible without the, the minibus. My name's Sue Holden, I work for the Barton Community Association. Our main users for the minibus um, are the local community groups including the Barton United Football Club. They also use it to go off um, for their darts evening, so it's another sort of social element. Public transport is not always easy. Taxis won't arrive on time or minibuses don't arrive on time, whereas we know with the Barton minibus that it'll be there when we need it. All groups have to book the minibus out if they want to use it. Some will have regular bookings. If it's a one-off, they'll just phone me up and book it. It's easy, it's an easy system, it's a simple system and it means that the children have access to activities that they just wouldn't have 
without this minibus. Each group is invited to pay an annual bond. That gives them unlimited usage of the minibus throughout that year. It's just a fantastic facility. We like to make it accessible to people right across the board. Age isn't important. Every time I've needed it, it's, it's been available. Gender isn't important. Year five and six girls went recently to Blackbird Lees to play football in the city championships and of course they won. We won! The, the Barton community minibus fills a gap for the school. It's something that they wouldn't be able to do without that minibus. It allows us to go to activities that we just wouldn't be able to go if we were using public transport or if we were hiring buses and taxis. We find it serves a really good purpose. It's just great having a minibus that's accessible here and able to use it when we like. Community Transport offers safe, accessible, cost-effective and flexible transport run by the community for the community. Community Transport can help fill the gaps where it is difficult to access other transport options and provides a lifeline in both rural and urban areas. It shows what can be done when people take responsibility for solving their own problems. It harnesses the experience and energy of volunteers who give freely of their time to help others. Community transport can take disabled people to work, children to school, sick people to healthcare and older people to the shops. It runs local bus routes and provides transport for a wide range of clubs and other groups. Volunteering is easy and there are many ways to make a difference in your area. For example, you could help by promoting services to anyone who may find it difficult to access other transport options, become a volunteer driver, helping out with bookings and reservations, and spotting where additional community transport services may be needed. For more information and signpost to local advice on community transport, search for Community Transport on Oxfordshire County Council's website, www.oxfordshire.gov.uk. To find services, visit the National Community Transport website at www.ctonline.org.uk. Okay.